What's up y'all, it's your girl Leah, back with another video. Today, I am going to be telling you guys if Charlotte, North Carolina, aka the Queen City, I'm going to be telling you guys if moving to Charlotte, North Carolina is a good idea. So the first thing that I asked myself when I was thinking about this video, I'm like, what do people even move for? Or like, what makes like a place a good place to move to? And full disclosure, before I get started, I am a licensed North Carolina realtor. So if you need any assistance with relocating to Charlotte, North Carolina or North Carolina in general, then I am your girl. I will help you with all of your needs. So let's go ahead and hop right back into this video. Is moving to Charlotte a good idea? So what makes makes a place a good place to move to anyway. I, in my opinion, would say a good place to move to or moving is a good idea if you need a change of scenery, you need a better job, you want more opportunities, you want to meet different people, the weather may be a little bit better where you're planning to move to or where you would like to move to, where you're seeking to move to. So. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about all of those things with Charlotte, North Carolina in mind. First of all, if you're looking to get into the healthcare industry, the tech industry, or, or banking or financial services, Charlotte is for you. So first of all, you already know tech is a booming industry and it's not gonna slow down anytime soon. Technology is advancing every single day. As far as the healthcare industry, we all need medical care. We all need someone to take care of us. We need nurses, we need doctors, we need all of those people in order to make sure that we are healthy. We need people to look at our feet. We need people to look at our teeth. We need people to look at our ears, eyes. We need all of those types of people. So the healthcare industry is not gonna go anywhere. And if you're into banking or financial services, now I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. I see a lot of people online talking about financial literacy and different things like that. And if you talk about financial literacy on your page or if you are claiming to be a financial literacy guru, why don't you live in Charlotte, North Carolina? Because do you know how many banks are headquartered here? We'll try to find out. But anyway, <laughs> as far as the weather, so I lived here for, you know what I mean, about two weeks. <laughs> so not long. So I haven't been able to really like experience the actual weather in Charlotte, but from, or all the seasons in Charlotte, but from me visiting before and spending, you know what I mean, weekends up here, it's not like I haven't, you know, spent time in Charlotte, but this is like, you know what I mean? I did just move here to this specific city. I wouldn't say that I don't know the area or I don't know what the weather is like, but it kind of seems like it's like everywhere else. Now, the other day when I was moving in, I was it was hot, like, but it was like cold at the same time, like extremely humid. I mean, it could have just been for that day because they were calling for rain, but from the entire time that I lived here for like the past two weeks, it's been pretty cloudy. There has been very like, you know, a few, you know, days where the sun is like actually out today, it actually popped out, you know what I mean? But it did end up like still getting cloudy and that could just be because we're in February, you know what I mean? It could be just the actual season. So I wouldn't really like harp too much on the weather. I would say that like, I feel like it's just like everywhere else. Now, there are like extreme differences. Like if you live in New York, then clearly it's not gonna be as cold as New York. And if you live in Florida, it's clearly not gonna be as cold as Florida. But I do feel like it's like a good medium. Like there are gonna be times where, you know, there is gonna be cold, you know what I mean? Or it's gonna be times where it's gonna be really, really hot because we're closer to like the South. But it's not like unreasonable. I think there's a good balance with the weather. Now, if you wanna change of scenery, then I feel like Charlotte is the perfect area because it's like a melting pot. There's so many different people that are coming here every single day that it's kind of like it hasn't built its own identity yet. So everyone is coming in to make the Queen City into its like own culture. In my opinion, from what I've noticed, it's not like like other cities where it's like so for Atlanta I feel like it's extremely you know I mean fast paced for New York I feel like it's so much going on that you really can't even grasp like one single culture you kind of have to either stick with one or the other and you know what I mean like Miami or something I feel like that has its own culture like you know what I mean a tourist attractions and stuff like that I feel like Charlotte is a good medium of like it's like a lesser Atlanta and I'm sure you guys have heard that before but I really do think that Charlotte is like a mini 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 Atlanta it's not too much going on but there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of growth coming to the city. When you visit here, before you move, when you visit, you will notice 
how much expansion is going on within the city. So there's literally gonna be construction on every single turn. You're gonna see new apartments being built, new townhomes being built, new constructions, and those homes are absolutely beautiful. Like I am prepared to literally make my down payment because these homes are like amazing. And if you guys are needing some assistance with your home search, please let me know because I will help you make a sound decision and get you the best deal. But anyway, I would say that Charlotte has its own culture that is building and I feel like eventually it's gonna be a, a way bigger city. Now it is not like a small but it's definitely still a lot of growth left within it. So if you're thinking about moving to the city and you don't want to really go to one that's like extremely big or like too much going on then I would say that Charlotte is a good idea. If you've ever been to Richmond, Virginia which is kind of where I'm from or I'm near. I'm not from Richmond, I'm from Louisa County but I went to school in Richmond for a while and Richmond was a very 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 small city. Now I would say that if I I had to compare cities I would say that Richmond is tiny as far as the city goes and for uh, Atlanta is, is pretty big now I would place Charlotte right in the middle of them and then you can kind of get like a grasp of okay is some things that I can still grasp onto and I can still be a part of the culture and not lose like you know what I mean I won't miss out on you now as far as meeting new people I have been posting on TikTok and on Instagram how I would like to meet one new person every single day now if you're just a loner then that completely makes sense but you have to get out like I'm not gonna say like just be going out to these different places and you don't know where you're going and you know what I mean like don't necessarily like put yourself in harm's way but definitely get out of your apartment or get out of your home and actually go and talk to people a lot of people that I've experienced here and that I met here are extremely friendly and they give me food recommendations like I feel if you meet someone that lives in Charlotte North Carolina I feel like the first thing that they're gonna do is give you food recommendations and that opens me up to if the next reason why Charlotte is a good place to move to the food so like I was saying earlier is like Charlotte does not have its own culture yet so it is a melting pot of a bunch of different cultures so you will be able to find a bunch of different types of cuisines and meals and you know what I mean southern food Asian food Mexican food like you're literally going to be able to find all of those things here so if you're looking for a city that has good food then I would say that Charlotte has that now I know other people in their city, they probably would say the exact same thing, like, okay, everybody has, like, you know, different types of cultures, but I don't, Charlotte does not have a, it, to me, or that I'm, I'm not aware of yet, if I'm wrong, there's somebody, somebody that has been living in Charlotte longer than me, or that knows more about the city, please leave a comment down below if I'm wrong about this, but Charlotte isn't necessarily known for just having one specific type of food that's good. There are a bunch of different restaurants that you can eat that I have, or eat at, that I have heard have extremely good dishes. If you guys want me to do like a review of these restaurants or give you guys like a list of them, then please let me know down in the comments and I will make sure that I get that video out to you as soon as possible. I would say moving to Charlotte is a good idea if you are moving for you and the reasons that I listed below. Now, you might have some other reasons why you feel like Charlotte is, you know, po a possible potential home for you where you would want to experience all of these different things that I listed. And I would highly suggest that you guys go ahead and really come and see for yourself. And if you don't like it after your visit, then you know what I mean? That's fine. I'm sure there is a city that is fit for you. There are plenty of cities in North Carolina in general. Like maybe Charlotte just isn't your, your pace. Maybe Raleigh might be your pace. If you guys want me to do a video on Raleigh, then please let me know. I will also get that video out to you as soon as possible. I know for my military folks out there in Fayetteville, I know if you're planning to possibly relocate or retire in um, North Carolina then I can make some relocation videos for those people that are you know separated from the military or retired from the military and maybe you want to move to Charlotte and possibly not stay in Fayetteville so I'm not gonna ramble on too much more but I really do appreciate every single one of you that watched this video to the very end you guys are amazing I appreciate literally every single one of you make sure that go, make sure you go ahead and like comment subscribe to your channel I appreciate you all and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video